Greetings and welcome to In the Tone of Truth. I am Asali Devon Ecclesiastes, CEO of the Ashe Cultural Arts Center here in New Orleans. And I'm so excited to bring to you this six week series of concerts, conversations, artistic exploration, all centered on the theme of social and racial justice in America. Inspired by Kellogg Foundation's annual Day of Racial Healing, we here at Ashe decided that one day this year was just not enough. And under the direction of our Chief Creative Officer, Frederick Della Husse, conceived this six week series to invite um, your further conversation, your further exploration into this theme. We invite you to share with us your thoughts and your dreams and your plans for creating a more equitable social justice infused society. And we thank you for your time, your attention, and your presence. And now we bring to you In the Tone of Truth. Good evening, and welcome again to In the Tone of Truth. We share history and culture, rhythm and religions. We blur racial boundaries with the beauty of color and sound in Afro-Latinx, Afro-Caribbean magic, mi vida, mi corazón. We manifest it in so many forms of expression, of recognition, of story and family and love. Tonight we present Odaz Valiente Maron Ibarente, bold, brave, brown, and brilliant, featuring the musical stylings of Giovanni Santos, the messages of Jose Torres Tama, the call to action of Fermín Sabalos, and the music of the maestro VC with Weedy Barima and Sam Dickey. This is Bold, Brave, Bound, and Beautiful. Enjoy, Ashe.
Is your sense of plantation paradigm getting you down? Is your sense of plantation paradigm getting you down, down? With white supremacists who stormed the Capitol building on January 6th, 2021, getting you funky down, down? Is the Eurocentric plantation paradigm and melancholic pandemic funk getting you down into the COVID blues funky town? Down, down. I ask because I am brown, therefore I am suspect. I am Latino, therefore I am spicy. I am an immigrant, therefore I am a terrorist. I studied art in college, therefore I am unemployed. I often speak in Spanish to confuse my gringo audiences, therefore I'm a pain in the conceptual derriere of monolingual gatekeepers and hegemonic plantation cultural epistemologies. I often use big words, therefore I am superfluous. Because I ask above all, how long will white wokeness last? Pídele a Legua que nos abra el camino. Pídele a Legua que nos abra bien la puerta. Pídele a Legua, we petition Legba to open wide the pathways. We petition Legba to open wide the doorways. We petition Legba to open wide the crossways. Elegua. And we say, Ashe. We remember Yemaya, Oshun, Shango, and we say Ashe. Huh! Ow! Fire water. I don't even know what's in there anymore, but it's good. Está rico y suave como yo. Uh, uh, uh. We petition like Ba to open wide the pathways, to open up the crossways for our people crossing every day, every hour, every second to reclaim what was ours in the first place. Because the land never had any borders. Porque la tierra nunca tenía fronteras. Because our hearts have no borders. Porque nuestros corazones no tienen fronteras. And because this performance poem ritual has no borders, porque este poema performativo no tiene fronteras. And all those colonial borders across the universe are colonial scars on the back of our Pacha Madre, of our Pachamama Madre Tierra. And that Rio Grande colonial border is an actual scar on the back of our Pachamama Earth that did not exist before the Europeans came. So remember, because the United States of Amnesia seduces you to embrace forgetting. And the most powerful thing an artist can do is to remember and not let the people be seduced into forgetting. <clears throat> so we petition like Ba. So my melanin people of power, when I see these dark faces burnt by the sun, purple, black like the beaten earth, and doing screens from one century to another, almost finished like old souls before crossing over, with a cruel history of conquest and abuse, like a people, like a people in the wounded body of an orphan child before God, abandoned by a criminal governance, 
forced to cross a colonial scar, to escape political persecution, forced to cross to escape economical despair, forced to cross for social and religious freedoms, crossing supposedly into the beacon of democracy, madres y niños cruzando supuestamente a la fuente de la democracia, mothers and children crossing for bread and dreams, crossing supposedly into the beacon of democracy, only to be dehumanized, only to be criminalized, only to be called illegal aliens. No human being is illegal. No human, no human, no human being is illegal. Ningún ser humano es ilegal. Ningún ser humano es ilegal. No human being is illegal. No human, no human, no human being is illegal. No tengo paciencia para gente sin conciencia. No tengo paciencia para gente sin conciencia. I've got no patience now for people without consciousness. I got no patience now for people without consciousness. So you, you so-called proud descendants of pilgrims, and let's dare not to forget that it was December of... Uh, 1640, when the pilgrims landed on Plymouth Rock, it's been 400 years of pilgrims pillaging with their oppressive knee on the necks of our melanin people of power. So, if you're a descendant of pilgrims, I recommend self-deportation because the pilgrims, the pilgrims, the pilgrims arrived without papers. Why? Why were they not deported with Columbus and his three ships? They, the Europeans, the Europeans, the Europeans, were the first illegal aliens in hemispheric Americas. Take that to the bank, baby, darling, boo, who, you. And mothers and children crossing for bread and dreams, crossing. We've seen mothers ripped from their children screaming. We've seen that before here in the Catholic slave port city of New Orleans. Black mothers, black children ripped from their arms. Children, black children on auction blocks. Black children, men, women in cages being sold in the Catholic slave port city of New Orleans. Let's dare to remember, let's dare to remember that the Catholic Church supported the French and Spanish colonials and their slave trade brutality. Let's dare to remember that they lynched uh, Juan Saint Malo on Jackson Square. You won't find that in any tourist brochures because it's the artist's job to remember. Let's dare to remember because that's the most radical thing an artist can do is remember the people's history. So. We petitioned Lake Bob to open wide those pathways to open up the crossways. So you, you, you pilgrims, you pillagers, you, you descendants of brutality, because my question is, how long will white wokeness last? because I don't see it lasting too much, baby. And yes, let's dare to remember that you, you agent orange of chaos, you agent orange of chaos, with your orange comb over, hiding the many burning crosses on fire, hiding the many burning crosses on fire that have ignited to fear or fever pitch every time you give another speech to make America hate again. You and your deplorable minions with previous Jefferson Beauregard sessions at your side, Jefferson Beauregard sessions at your side, a living monument to the Confederacy who wrote into law scripted your zero tolerance policy where children have been placed on cages. It can't happen here. It's happened here before. Let's dare to remember there was a program called Save the Child, Kill the Indian where native children were ripped from their indigenous mother's arms in their tribe lands and put in Anglican schools and they suffered. They cut their hair. They cut their native tongues because this is part of the United States of amnesia, baby. Pillaging and terrorizing is as American as apple pie, baby. Let's dare to remember. So you, you agent orange of chaos, you agent orange of chaos, inciting another civil war. You and your diploma minions. In my universe, in my universe, there's no guacamole. There's no guacamole. There's no guacamole for immigrant haters. And you, Lady Liberty is stepping on your neck because you're a loser. You have to go, you chump. I don't even say your name because every time you do say your real odious name with that German heritage background, another right-wing uh, nationalist gets his Confederate flag in his wings. So let's dare to remember you, you chump, you Jabba the Hutt, 
pimp, you Agent Orange of chaos, pimping hate and fear in the United States of amnesia. Let's dare to forget that, no, you didn't tame a land, you killed, and here, you killed the native Atacapa, the Chitimacha, the Tunica tribes, the Homa, the Natchez. So let's dare to remember our native indigenous people because no human being is illegal on stolen lands. And you, you Agent or Orange of chaos, you, you can't even go near the chips. Because there's no guacamole for immigrant haters, bato. Huh! Yo vengo de todo lado. Venimos de todas partes, yo vengo de todos lados, no vine a quitarte nada, venimos a crecer contigo, no vine a quitarte nada, trabajo de día y de noche, el sol se acuesta en mi espalda, conmigo traigo esperanza, alegría y sufrimiento. Conmigo traigo mi alma y un pedacito de aliento. ¿Qué quieres hacer conmigo? Pregúntale a tu conciencia si acaso soy tu enemigo. Tú vienes de todo un lado. Venimos de todas partes. Thank you. Uh, my name is Fermín Ceballos. I'm so happy to be part of this beautiful um, group of people who are like encouraging the the racial healing, the and the love and passion and music and art. And thank you, Ashade and all the team for inviting me to this uh, beautiful things going on. Um, I want to say thank you to New Orleans, uh, the artist community, and everyone. Um, in those days, we need to be more united than ever. We need to love each other. We need to have compassion, and we need to be tolerant. And we need to be, again, united. And a lot of things going on, and I think it's, it's on us, our shoulder. Our shoulder, we need to fix it. So the next song called Se Nos Va La Vida, The Life Is Gone. Uh, and the first one that I played called um, Yo Vengo De Todos Lados, I come from everywhere. And this, the meaning is about us, about immigrants. It doesn't matter where you come from, but the United States, you know, it's like immigrant country and we come from everywhere the, from this planet. And here we need to be one. We need to be Americans, okay? Hoy recuerdo yo cuando era pequeñito Pedro y yo andábamos juntos, maroteando por el río. Su vida y la mía parecían una sola. Nos pasábamos el día en la escuela y en la loma. Pero luego todo, luego todo fue cambiando. Pedro se fue a la ciudad y yo me quedé en el campo. Y de oportunista se puso a politiquear. Tiene todo de la nada. De la noche a la mañana Tiene millones Yo no sé lo que vendió Si lo que tiene es un cargo Y el gobierno lo nombró El favoritismo Daña nuestra sociedad Cuánta gente como Pedro Millonario y no hace nada Las instituciones Aquí son fincas privadas Aquí todo el que cree que jefe Hace lo que le da la gana y mi pueblo sufre 
Más que una simple herida En busca de su sustento Solo se nos va la vida Y oye, se nos va la vida Encima de un motoconcho Aguantando sol y lodo Para poder vivir Se nos va la vida Tirado en el hospital Sin salud ni educación ¿Dónde vamos a parar? Se nos va la vida a los de la zona franca que trabajan y trabajan, pero no nos pagan nada. Se nos va la vida rodando de aquí para allá, afanados por tener lo que nunca llegará. Se nos va la vida a los de la zona franca que trabajan y trabajan, pero no nos pagan nada. Este pueblo necesita una nueva sociedad donde exista la justicia de corazón, oh, oh, no se nos maltrate más. Y tú que eres ciudadano, buen hermano, abre los ojos ya. La la ley, la la ley, la la la. Da tu amor, da tu luz, da tu paz. La la ley, la la ley, la la la. El futuro algo mejor nos traerá. Thank you, thank you so much. I'm happy to be part of it. And that song, the meaning of the, the life is gone, is uh, most people in life, you spend your life, your entire life, trying to catch a better life. And this is the meaning of the song. Our life is gone because of that, you know, because we're trying to catch a better place for us, better future, better job. But most of the of the things, we don't got it, we don't make it true. So in the song, is, is, this is the meaning of uh, every day um, living on that fight for better place and better uh, things for our family and for ourselves. So this is the meaning of the song. Se nos va la vida. Thank you. God bless you. Me place presentar. Eh, mi nombre es Victor Campbell. Vengo desde Cuba. Es un placer estar acá en New Orleans. La timo trata sobre beber la verdad, la sabiduría y la inteligencia. Eh, en el bajo, Sandiki y Widi Brahima en the drums. Thank you. Thank you. 
Rotito Kio más si se está Orao bon pelu a ti Eco a ti oye Thank you so much to our amazing artists who took the time to share their words and sounds with us today. Thank you to our funding partners who believe in this work and this mission and so generously give of their finances and their vision to help us to continue it. And most importantly, thank you to you, those of you who decided that racial healing would be part of your day today. We can't wait to see you next week.